what's up everyone how you guys doing today good thank you guys for asking so a while back i got a comment saying that i shouldn't make a video on how i make my super sauce so that's what i'll be doing today so let's go ahead and go straight into it all right so here are my cords and let's go ahead and pull up a serum so first i'll be showing you guys the sound design and then i'll be going into the processing so let's go over and look at serum so here is the first thing that I do so I would typically turn up the unison to about 8 and I would turn up or turn on oscillator B and turn it up to about 8 6 around there and I would turn this one up an octave so after that I would go ahead and take LFO 1 and just drop it right on the level like that and then turn on trigger and then you can basically create any shape that you want so that's the shape I'll go for and let's go ahead and turn on multiband compressor as well as hyper dimension just a little bit you know alright so for the next sound it is typically probably a preset sound I'll just grab a random preset so let's grab this one so here is the sound so the next sound is going to be a very like narrow high kind of super saw so here's what it's going to look like a little bit let's go ahead and turn up the octaves for both of them up and let's go ahead and turn up to about like six unison and turn the attunement down by a lot let's also grab the lfo and just drop it straight onto the volume so it's gonna sound like this and i'll probably delete these right here but yeah that just gives it a little bit of that like high end so it's just kind of good in my opinion so maybe another layer i might add is a this preset a reverb saw picture and uh basically i got this sound from delhi fb which is really good like you can make the sound or you can just download the presets but yeah it's a really good sound so i'm gonna go ahead and just do it now i would typically use that if i didn't have the lfo going on so let me go ahead and show you guys that so this is what i would do if i didn't have the super saw um lfo waves going on so yeah and the reverb saw picture just really helps out these um layers a lot and i really like that sound let's let's go over and look at the processing I was gonna just do that and yeah so I typically just route it all into one bus like this so let's go ahead and just start with the overall sound actually and let me go ahead and just balance some of this out real quick all right so let's pull up an OTT on all of them So that sounds pretty good um, so it's just really some basic stuff I don't really do much with the super saws but then I add on this plugin which is like an exciter so yeah I uh, just kind of mess around with it a little bit and I typically don't like to add too much air because it just really makes it too bright so if I turn this up a lot Yeah, it just sounds a little bit too bright in my opinion, so I would typically not really have this air knob up at all. Alright, next, um, we can add reverb anywhere. Um, it might sound better at the beginning or at the end, but yeah, just a little bit of reverb. And then we have EQ, but for this EQ, I would do that after I EQ all of these, so let's go ahead and just listen to all of this
Alright, so I did some very basic EQ on all of them, and now we can do a little bit more advanced EQ on here. So let's go ahead and get a low cut. And let's go ahead and just try to find some resonating frequencies. Or just some like really harsh, annoying frequencies. And if you need to, you can go ahead and boost the high end a little bit, but for this, I'll probably take it down just a little bit. So yeah, that's basically how I kind of create my super saws, or at least like the thought process on it. So hopefully this like helped you out a little bit, or like just gave you like a different view on how to do something but yeah if you guys have a different way you guys do it just go ahead and leave it down below um i would love to hear it so yeah thank you guys for watching and uh yeah have a good one